Welcome to Hell's Half Acre, an incredibly old lava flow here in eastern Idaho. Eastern Idaho is where the Yellowstone hotspot used to be 6,000 years ago, and that is where the origin of this hotspot comes from. It is an incredibly treacherous piece of terrain. It's definitely not the kind of piece of terrain you would want to train on. I know that sounds kind of odd, but the ground is rickety. Every piece of ground feels loose and hollow. It is incredibly dangerous for a piece of land, and what the legality of walking off trail like I did is somewhat questionable, so do at your own risk. I wouldn't recommend bringing anything other than just a handgun. Bringing a rifle would probably throw your center of balance way off, and that is not something you can afford to do in a place of land like this, except maybe if you're a manlet, you'd probably be okay. In the meantime, guys, enjoy the video. There's not gonna be any story this time around. Don't get me wrong, I love doing those videos and there will be more of them in the future. But in this case, I think the land in and of itself is its own story. So enjoy the video. Something so fascinating about this place is like the land, you can tell where it just used to be together. <laughs> And then I guess as the lava cooled, it created these like mini canyons, man. That's probably where all the creepy stuff is, right? All the rattlesnakes and all that crap. Check this out. Listen to this. It sounds like it's hollow. Like, <laughs> this rock does not inspire a whole lot of confidence. Like, everything sounds like it's hollow. So, you know, being a 6'5 man, you know, well built, currently on a weight loss journey, let's say, <laughs> does not inspire a ton of confidence, but don't worry, I'm being safe. Oh, see, dude, like if I drop my phone down there, it'd be gone forever. One thing not a lot of people talk about is how backpacks kind of interact with your center of mass, especially when you're really tall. Because the deal is, is I'm 6'5", right? And I've got a backpack. It's got a gallon of, gallon of water in there right now. It's way too much for this little trip, but, you know, it's better to hike with too much, right? Because then at least you burn the calories, which is what I'm looking for. And uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, crossing these little canyons and stuff, it's a little sketch going downhill. Oh, wow. Look at that cave. All right, let's go check out this cave. <laughs> Definitely not the kind of place you'd want to spend the night, but interesting nonetheless. Smells weird, not gonna lie. There's a cold breeze coming from that cave. Just I'm glad I'm freaking strapped with God's caliber. Yeah, I know, those are just weird looking rocks the whole time. Really cool though. Wow, fascinating place. There's the cave, everyone. I don't think I can even friggin' fit in that cave. Yeah, man. It's sketch, but man, is it cool. Yeah, tons of caves, man. They're so small, nothing could really live in there other than like, coyotes would be probably the biggest thing, man. Still really cool though. Check it out, guys. Dang. That's the only place in Hell's Half Acre where these things could grow. Man, ain't that cool. 
And look, like it's a totally, like between the sagebrush and stuff, you would not know that there was just this giant canyon that you could fall in. Well, giant, but there, you, we, you would never know that this was here and would break your leg. So it's fascinating stuff, man. Oh, one of those. See that, man? I'm debating whether or not to, oh, there it is. Oh, see it popped up and came up back in. <laughs> These things are wicked. I'm gonna give that thing a wide berth, man. That's so sick. That's why we come out here, guys, to appreciate the little things. What the? Hello? Who the freak? That's frustrating, man. That's really sad seeing that. <laughs> Just some. Listen, it's different a little bit. It's a little different when it's like a designated like shooting area. But seeing trash like that when you think you're kind of in the middle of nowhere, it's just frustrating. So we're gonna see if we can get that out. You know, other than that, it's a pretty cool cave. Let's see what this is about. Junk, not even any treasure in it, but well get that out of here. All right, with that on board. Oh. Let's explore a little bit more and then we'll bail. Seriously, though, you can see how the lava like, like you can tell that was liquid. <laughs> so this whole lava spill happened about 3000 years ago, or, or no, no, 3000 BC. So Abraham <laughs> was running around about the time these lava flows were going. Pretty cool stuff, pretty rickety terrain. There we go. Keep hearing gunshots in that direction. Now, it's probably a guy hunting small game, if I had to guess, because it doesn't sound like he's target shooting, right? Target shooting's like shoot, reload, shoot, reload, right? If you're shooting like a bolt action, because I'm pretty sure from what it sounds like, it sounds like a bolt action rifle of some kind because it doesn't sound semi-auto. Anyway, I want to go that way further to see what's going on. You know, maybe help a brother out. I don't know if he's fighting a Wendigo or something. I don't know what's going on, you know, maybe help him out. But what if he's the bad guy though? What if he's like a human hunter, you know? Then I'd be putting myself in a bad situation. So all I can say is, Good luck, pal. I hope you uh, hope you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. So uh, I'm gonna probably investigate this. Um, yeah, and then we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what else there is to do. But, so we're gonna take that little bridge. Check that out, man. More, more caves. See, these aren't really like caves, caves, but they're really cool, nonetheless. I'm a fan. This landscape is so so bad. I'll tell you what. This landscape is really bad if one of your goals is to kind of like learn how to become aware of your environment. Let me, let me explain what I mean. In the uh, SHTF, right, you're going to want to keep your eyes up, right? You're going to want to keep your eyes up. You wanna, you're you're going to want to be aware of your surroundings. Out here, though, it doesn't do you any good <laughs> to do that. What's going to do you good is looking at what's right underneath. You're looking at this broken ground, right? That's what's gonna keep your neck from getting broken out here. So it's just, so my body subconsciously is learning like, hey, you know, when you're out <laughs> in the wilderness, don't keep your head up, keep your head down because this is where the rattlesnakes are. <laughs> this is where the cactuses are. This is where the broken up terrain is. There's no threats up here, right? However, as I just previously said, 
should SHTF happen, which I believe it will, it's gonna be way more important for you to keep your head up and on a swivel. So just an interesting thought, something to consider if you plan on doing stuff like this by yourself. I'm not saying I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm just saying like, maybe this isn't the best terrain to train for, if you know what I mean. I'll tell you what though, I'm getting some good exercise. It's like a creeper hole someone forgot to cover up. All right, guys, I'm back on the government wuss wuss trail. And as you can see, there's the freeway. So as with every adventure, as with every armed expedition, I have to return to uh, industrial society and all of its consequences. So that's great. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. I know this was a shorter one. I'm, I'm going to leave you with the request, though, okay? If you have a gun, if you have gear, ooh, bunny. That's cool. I've seen a lot of them around here, man. That's cool. Anyway, if you have a gun, if you have gear, and if you have public land, or even massive swaths of private land, if you have access to that, it is your responsibility to make sure your gear works, okay? If you're going to come to me and say, hey, my Palmetto State Armory AR-15, it is just as good as your SIG M400, which first, I'd probably agree with you. But <laughs> in fact, I'd probably say your PSA is a little better. But anyway, nonetheless, if you're going to tell me, hey, it's, it's just as reliable as a Daniel Defense, or whatever it is your responsibility to prove that not to necessarily anybody but yourself okay you're gonna tell me your palmetto state armory ar-15 hey it's it's infinitely durable man it's made out of freaking obsidian or something okay then it is your job to go to public land get it dirty throw it around throw it on some rocks and prove to yourself that that's true if you're gonna tell me hey my condor outdoor chest rig is just as good as the uh, haley haley dc3 rm or the uh your um dank robber chest rig i'm gonna say okay okay go prove it go go do some drills go shooting go have an adventure with your gear prove your gear okay that is your job don't come to me <laughs> and tell me hey my stuff sucks because you've got a sons of liberty gunworks and i've got an m400 which i would agree your ar is better but have you ever even gone outside with your sons of liberty gunworks have you ever even like has your gun ever even seen the sun okay Go out there, go to public land. Don't stay there. Go out there and have an adventure, okay? It's your job, it's your responsibility. So anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. And please, you're welcome to come, to come into my Discord and tell me all about the wonderful adventures you've had. It's a great place. I might not keep it open for much longer because I don't want it to get gay. But <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful day. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Take it easy.